when I was 18, I was a dropout floating around in southern Florida. Um, had left my home and family and schools in uh, New England and had showed up down there on my way to, to join Fidel Castro, as I thought, uh, in the Sierra Maestra in the winter of 58, 59. And, and then they didn't, they managed to uh, overthrow Batista without my help and, and didn't need me. And so I was stuck in Florida uh, working in a department store and, and, and doing window trimming. And, and I started reading for the first time in my life in a really serious way reading four, five, six books a week out of the public library and then going and doing my job. And, and then I began trying to imitate what I was falling in love with. I fell in love with literature uh, without a teacher, without a school, without a syllabus. So I was reading, you know, everything. Um, junk to classics and um, pop boilers to, um, to epics, um, poetry, fiction, and just gobbling it up. and. And pretty soon, within a year or so, I was trying to imitate what I was falling in love with, as we human beings tend to do. And, um, and you know, writing bad poems uh, that imitated Walt Whitman, or then more bad poems that imitated Emily Dickinson, and uh, writing bad sentences that imitated Hemingway's, and then failing at that, imitating writing bad sentences that imitated William Faulkner, long serpentine sentences. But I was learning to write. And at a certain point, and, and I was probably 20, 21 years old, um, I realized that I, I was organizing my whole life around this activity, around writing. I was organizing my economy. I was taking jobs that required less and less time. I wasn't rising up in the... Uh, uh, hierarchy uh, uh, of department store uh, life. Uh, <laughs> instead, I was taking jobs that gave me free time to write. My relationships with other people, I was instead of hanging around with young accountants or executives or so, I was hanging around with young artists and musicians and painters and writers. Um, my relationships with, with, with women and, and, and all were being shaped by this activity because I, I really couldn't uh, commit myself in a way uh, to a domestic life um, uh, in the same sense. And I was committed, I was already spoken for in a sense, I was committed to, to this activity. And, and so at a certain point I just realized I must be a writer. This is what I do all the time. This is what I think about all the time. And this is, this is what I shape my life uh, from. And so it really, it isn't as though I became a writer by choice. It is, uh, I became a writer by writing.